Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel, you know white study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos. But going to further, before going to further, please don't forget to like this video. This is the part 2 of genome wide analysis series and in this video we will try to learn that how we can select the protein family for our genome wide analysis and how we can confirm that protein family and also how we can extract the data related to that protein family. In the first part of the selection of protein family for the genome wide analysis it is very important step to select the key protein family which is related to your work for example you are working on any transcription factor or any transferase enzyme or any other objective you are working are related to the stress so you must find out the related protein family that were involved are related to your work for example you are working on a transcription factor then which pro transcription factor you are related that MIP, BHLH or any other so you can select that related protein family or if you are working on any stress then you can find the protein family related to that stress either that a drought or heavy metal or like this and how you can select or know that which protein family is related to your work you can find or get the help from literature that you are doing this type of work and which family uh, protein family involved in that work or you can also use the chat gpt which is very helpful in finding out the specific protein family related to your work you need to only write in chat GPT that I am working on that objective or my objective is this or I am working on that uh, uh, phenomena or so which type of protein families are involved in that phenomena. So it will give you the list of protein families and then you can select it. Ask it that give the protein family that related to this work and that he, it will give you and then you can select one of the most appropriate family and, or you can also ask the chat GPT or any other that which is the most specific protein family related to my work so it will give you that this protein family is related to your work or you can also find out uh, or get this protein family from the literature for example i am working on heavy metal stress so i will ask to the chat gpt that i am working on a uh, heavy metal stress in plants so please uh, give me the name of protein family that were involved in heavy metal stress so it will give you the some protein family names and then I will select one of them or I ask him to chat GPT that from these list which one is the most important one so it will give me one of or two so I will take one of them so, so in this uh, series uh, that we are doing they are going to the analysis so I am selecting the HMA heavy metal associated proteins because I am uh, working are uh, related to heavy metal stress so I have chosen this family so I am I will work on that family in this series that is HMA you can also find out any protein family related to your objective or research work and then after that after selection of your protein family for example we have selected the HMA protein family you can also select according to your objective then you must make sure that that protein family on which you are working is novel. No one have worked on it in your studied organism. That is plant. If you are working on plant uh, like maize, sorghum, glycine max or any other plant you are working. So no one have worked on that plant. You can find that uh, the for example this uh, HMA family. Uh, you can find that most of the people have worked on in different crops or animal or like this but that HMA shouldn't 
be worked in your studied plants or animal or insect you can can and uh, how you can know that uh, either this protein family have been worked in my my plant or not you can find it uh, through uh, different search engines like google and cbi are being are like giving some keywords related to this and then it will give you that either the uh, someone have worked on this protein family in your study crop or not that things we will do in the practical for example i am working on maize so i must confirm that no one have worked on hma protein family in maize after selection of the protein family and the crop then we will <clears throat> extract the some data files that were related to this whole analysis so how we can do all this let's start after selecting the protein family so open google or any search engine and give here the name that genome wide analysis of hma protein family in maize so here is family in wheat this one is the paper I have in wheat and uh, here is a maize but this is a metal metallothionine but not the hma so here shows results with hma so i feel that my result must contain the hma and uh, you know wide identification of that hma and association yes so someone have already worked on it so uh, i must left this but uh, in this uh, in this series of lectures i will follow this one but you ma didn't if you find that someone have worked on your protein family that you have selected so someone have worked on it so you leave it don't work on that uh, uh, that protein family and your crop and uh, it just a waste of time so you can select another related family because chat gpt gives you or uh, in literature you can find more than five or ten protein family that were related to your work so if someone were someone worked on that so you can leave it and uh, choose another one so here in this that someone have worked on maize but uh, i have i also have to uh, because here i will show the example so that's why i give you uh, i have to work on it to only to uh, give you the uh, that lecture or we will analyze it but if you find such type of condition then you didn't work on it you can select any other family okay after confirmation of uh, that protein family that uh, no one have worked then we have to extract the data so if uh, but you have you must confirm it by giving different type of keywords like uh, genome wide analysis of hma protein family in maize or uh, or zia maze or any other if you didn't find in this list then and find out ncbi if you even didn't find in the ncbi then you have to oh you have to open the any <clears throat> any paper that were what that were published like here this one is hma uh, gene family so i will open it so i will open it so the whole you can open the whole paper and then control f and here give the name of your crop then when you give the name of your crop then here you find that 11 in the ame so someone have worked on it and that was a Uh, he found the 11 that is the uh, hma in the ames 
So this time, in this way, if uh, in this way you can also find out that someone has worked on or not. If you didn't find the maze, then you can you give the its a bot a botanical name the yeah, maze like here, or you can also uh, <coughs> give other that uh, uh, that um, the yeah, maze H M A like me different type of keyword you will give to make sure first you have to make sure that no one have worked on your pro selected protein family in your crop after if someone have already worked and you didn't make it sure and when you give it for publication so your paper will be returned that uh, with comment that this what ha already have done so no use it of it it was just your waste of time energy so before wasting this you must confirm it by spending some time to find out after that we now go to the download some data files like here we have to open the phytosome go to the phytosome and then open click Open this version 13. At first, we have to find out or download the data files of two crops. That one, the Arabidopsis, which we use as a model plant, and another one is our studied plant. That in our case, there is a Zia maze. Yeah, so, in your case, you can find out your crop if your crop data is not available in the phytosome then you will go to that crops database or have RNA sequencing files you must have so through this you can go so first of all you must log in or register yourself in that website before downloading because without logging or registered you can't be download the files Yeah, you ask about O or C I D so skip it. Now this window appears, so go to the genome genomes and first Arabidopsis Thaliana. Arabidopsis Thaliana. Tear uh, that for eleven or ten and uh, whatever you use version. But keep in mind any version you select you must follow all that. Uh, genes or the transcription ID or any files from that version. So here then click on download. After downloading here the list will come. So from here we can select the files like one is the 44 Arabidopsis annotation file. One we have to select this annotation file. One you need to select the CDS file. Two. This one is gene GFF file. <coughs> Sorry. This is a protein file. And another one is the assembly file. Assembly file is from uh, version tier 10 it is same but this version is same 447 so here is the assembly file so we have selected these five files that one is the assembly file another one is the protein file this one a GFF file and here is the CDS and annotation file and then click on add to cart and then here in this card 
you can select it download and click on browser download and then you have to save it into your uh, destination folder so here is data and a tha liana and save so it will start the downloading so it will take some time depending upon the internet speed and also the size of the that files then after downloading this then you go back and then from genome you can select the maze from the maze there are the different versions so you can choose any one for example i am choosing this the maze b84 version 1.2 any one is okay and then again download select the again same five files like uh, the here is a genome file one is genome file this is the annotation file cds file and uh, this is the gff the gene gff file protein file so these five files one two three four five and then click on add to cart then open this card download and browser download so in this way you can download it so after downloading this model plant and uh, your organism plant then save so after downloading this plot we will do the further analysis so it is all about how we can select the protein family how we can confirm the protein family and how we can download the data files about related to these crops so in further step or further analysis uh, further videos we will use these files to do the analysis so it is all about today hopefully it will help you if you have any query please comment don't forget to like share thank you